Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. This is Mari sitting in for Jake once again, taking a look at the solar wind right now sitting at 608.5 kilometers per second with a density of 1.8. A solar wind stream hit Earth's magnetic field on February 6th. That's yesterday. Wind speeds are now over 600 kilometers per second, the fastest of the year so far. First contact of the gas gaseous material produced this gorgeous outburst of auroras over Finland. This is taken by a photographer named Alexander. He said the sky just exploded with all different colors. In Norway, a citizen scientist, Rob Stams, of the Polar Light Center was surprised when his magnometer suddenly went crazy. He says this evening around 20 UTC, a magnetic shock wave registered on his instruments. There was also a strong surge of electrical current through the ground outside. Locally, they experienced a geomagnetic storm of magnitude K6. The solar wind stream causing this action is flowing from the southern hole in the sun's atmosphere. It can continue to buffet the Earth's magnetic field for another 24 hours, sparking more Arctic auroras today and tomorrow. Right now, our sun is blank, no sunspots, for a current stretch of five days. Current KP right now is 2 with a 24 hour max of a 4. Looking at this coronal hole here, solar wind flowing from this northern coronal hole could hit Earth's magnetic field on February 11th. Over to the catastrophic weather we had yesterday. Storms and flooding sweep over the deep south and leave several dead. At least three people were killed Thursday when strong storms ripped through the south. At least one person died when a possible tornado tore through Marengo County, Alabama. Another person was injured and two mobile homes in the area were destroyed. A driver was killed by a falling tree in South Carolina, while another driver was killed just across the state line in North Carolina when his vehicle hydroplaned. A teacher died in Sevier County, Tennessee, when a tree fell on the van in which she was riding. Four others in the van, including the teacher's husband, were hurt. Areas of the Deep South were at risk of severe weather, including tornadoes and torrential rains. The Charlotte Airport was under a tornado warning Thursday, leading to a temporary evacuation of the tower. A wide area of the South is also experiencing flooding, including Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Kentucky, Virginia, and North Carolina. Evacuations are underway in Harlan and Bell counties in Kentucky amid reports of people being trapped in their homes. The Cumberland River overtopped its banks. An unoccupied home was spotted floating away in Harlan County, Kentucky. Tornado sirens went off at the University of Georgia in Athens on Thursday morning as a tornado-worn storm passed to the south. In central Mississippi, a possible tornado damaged five homes Wednesday night. No one was injured. An EF-1 was also reported in Yazoo County, north of Jackson. A powerful winter storm dropped snow along the Mexican border, dropping four inches of snow in El Paso and pea-sized hail in New Orleans. Authorities believe high winds are responsible for a scaffolding collapse in downtown New Orleans that injured one person on Wednesday. The front caused flooding in Alabama, and flood watches remain in effect in Georgia, where the rains fell through the night. Winter storm warnings remain in effect from the upper Midwest to the great north woods of Maine. Sunny skies are expected in New England after the snow blows through with mixed ice and rainstorms. Currently here in the Adirondacks, schools are closed and most places are shut down. We are covered with a thick coating of ice with several more inches of snow on the way. But look at, here we go. Everything's coated in ice. So far the trees are holding up good. We're expecting some wind. So we'll see. Hopefully these trees will hold up good. The snow is forecasted to intensify and winds will ramp up in parts of the northeast today, but some parts of the northeast will see rain rather than ice or snow. The storm will finally exit New England tonight. Some snow will fall as far south as Tennessee Valley and southern Appalachians. 
Let's hop on over to the UK. Today, frosty start in places with fog patches slowly clearing, staying fine in the east but turning cloudy elsewhere. Light rain and drizzle affecting western parts with heavier rain arriving towards this evening, turning windy with coastal gales in the west. Tonight, the rain in the west moving eastwards following clearer skies, blustery showers developing in the northwest later with snow on the hills. We're going to see a lot of wind with gales on the coasts and hills. Tomorrow, central and eastern parts staying dry with sunny spells. Showers in the northwest will be replaced by persistent rain later, heavy at times with severe gales developing. Storm Sierra will bring wet and very windy conditions on Sunday, staying windy early next week, turning colder with wintry showers mostly seen in the north. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share if you like our broadcast or would like to join us for the call-in show tonight. Please click on that join button or hit that Patreon link below. We are looking forward to having our members participate tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. People cannot possibly plan for every contingency. They can't. Well, I watched the original video many years ago about the story about CO2, which was a propaganda deal from Margaret Thatcher during the coal strike. We might lose the power grid. I mean, who knows? The grand solar minimum with volcanoes, with earthquakes, with solar flares penetrating Earth's magnetic field when it's down. I mean, right now, this is the weakest we've seen it in 200 and some years. But I do know the huge difference this summer. Very difficult uh, to grow anything. We planted things over and over and over up here just to try to get something to grow. I've always kind of been interested in the cycles and my background of taking botany and horticulture classes basically found out there was larger cycles repeating over smaller cycles and even larger cycles of ups and downs in climate, dry periods, warm periods, cold periods, wet periods. I look at details. I was raised in the military. My father was a lieutenant colonel in the Air Force. He was a pilot. At the end of his career, he was a helicopter rescue pilot in Vietnam before he got shot down. He was always like, Cynthia, it's not enough to have a plan A and a plan B. You better have a plan C, D, E, and F, because if anything has taught me anything, stuff goes all to pieces in seconds, and you better have a backup plan to your backup plan to your backup plan. I think the most important thing for people to do is to try to build their relationships with the people in their neighborhoods and their community, depending on how big their community is. And they really need to get to know what other people are doing and how they're thinking. Because if anything happens, that's the people that's going to be knocking on your door. And mm. I think the other thing is kind of keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for staying rational and sane, and I'll talk right. to you again. I wasn't expecting a lot of callers tonight. Well, and this is the beginning. I, I, it, was so, it was so good. It was, it was, it was better than uh, watching the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Matt, Matt taking shots. On the live show, please join us for our next call-in show on Patreon. Like our supporter Richard said, no one is as smart as everyone working together. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below. 